This is four guys in a car in the 2013 Porsche Cayenne. Diesel. It's a three liter turbo diesel, 240 horsepower, 400 pound speed of torque. And Wait, an, eight how speed, much? an eight speed automatic transmission, yeah. right? Yes, eight, eight speed automatic. automatic. Can somebody who has a business degree that's not from a cereal box like mine, please explain why Porsche suddenly has a diesel engine? Well, I don't have a business degree, but I would think it's because they are in much tighter with Volkswagen and Audi. And they were realizing that in Europe, especially by not offering a diesel in an SUV like this, you're missing out on a huge chunk of the market. Okay. Yeah. So I get the European part, but Canada, North America, really haven't really traditionally been fans of diesel. Is that? I guess it's, it's it is changing, right? Yeah, but you also look at the competitors. X5 has diesel. ML Mercedes ML has diesel. Um, the Audi Q7 has a diesel. The Volkswagen Touareg has a diesel. So I think, as is typical of many German manufacturers, they see the other ones doing it, and then they feel like they need to pop a vehicle into the niche. Right. Okay, but like. Didn't any of the brass of Porsche ever sit back and think, hang on, I know all our competitors are doing it, but we're Porsche, you know, the ones who invented the 911, we, we built sports cars, or at least we used to. Is a diesel SUV going to really fit with the rest of our lineup? Well, I think what, uh, you know, the way the market's going, it just means that to keep building stuff like the GT3 RS, Porsche has to do diesel SUVs. The weird thing about this Cayenne is that it really doesn't feel like a Porsche. Yeah. I mean, even other Cayennes with V8s or the sweet uh, turbo version, they feel incredibly over-engineered uh, as SUVs to be sporty. And the funny thing about this diesel is it doesn't feel like that. It just feels like a really nice SUV. Like, I feel like you could take the badges off it and give it to somebody and they'd be like, yeah, this is just a really nice truck, Yeah. you know? And then if you're like, oh, it's a Porsche, they'd be like, oh, well, that's a bonus, you but, know? I don't think the people looking at this are are the regular Cayenne customer at all. Yeah, this is this is an entry-level Porsche SUV. And, you know, I, I personally, I think it retains a lot of the Porsche character. And, you know, it's got 400 foot-pounds of torque or whatever it is. I mean, it's still quick. Oh, yeah. You get this thing uh, on an on-ramp and uh, you nail it, it goes. But, you know, I'm not sure it feels like such an expensive vehicle. I was behind the wheel a few days ago and, you know, it vibrates a lot. Like, you feel the diesel motor under the hood. It, it really does. This, you feel it through the vibrating through the steering wheel, vibrating through the throttle pedal even. And, you know, when you put your arm on the the center glove box there like you can feel it vibrate with the engine it just it, it doesn't feel like a luxury quality thing so i drove this cayenne diesel back to back essentially with uh cayenne gts which has got a v8 and you know with me driving um rather briskly i had no trouble getting eight liters per hundred kilometers in this and in the cayenne gts driving it similarly I was getting 17 liters per 100 kilometers. So, you know, the, the, the diesel engine makes a very strong argument if you're looking at um, fuel as a consideration in your budget. No, you know, I think this car is really for people who got a 911 and, and maybe like a, a Boxster and they, they want like a family car or something, you know, and this, this sort of makes sense. Um, if you already love the brand and you want something to match and you want practical great fuel economy then you don't want to swap over the road go across the road to a different dealership and also let's face it most of the new buyers of porsches haven't driven as many porsches as we have collectively yes like a lot of them haven't driven 70s 911s and 914s and 928s and the All whole right, back dragon. catalog no but but <laughs> The thing is, what makes a Porsche a Porsche is always changing because you get new buyers to the brand and they see the badge and it handles in a certain way and they say, yeah, this feels like a Porsche, but really their frame of reference isn't the same as, as Porsche enthusiasts. And I think that uh, that's important where if it is your second car or even your primary car, it'll feel just as much like a Porsche as any of the other new Porsches. 
The other thing to remember is that you can use your diesel Cayenne to tow your Porsche race car to the track. 7,000 pounds. Ah, it all makes sense now. Yes. It's basically just a towing vehicle. Yes, it is. <laughs>